Hey everyone, Shark here. Welcome back to the channel. So I have a unique game for you today. This is not going to be normal by any stretch of the imagination. The idea for this came from a subscriber named Circa Must Survive. I don't know how he came up with it, but when I told Aries about it, he immediately decided we needed to roll with it. So the thought was Shark versus Aries 1v1 Jeep battle when? And this morphed into a kind of a complicated scenario where Aries agreed to focus on a Jeep only strategy. Uh, so we we went around and figured out some rules um basically Ares is only allowed to build jeeps anti-tank guns and easy eights he can keep his original scout and he can build his engineers for repairs whereas i can do whatever i want um and even though you would think man i should just wipe the field with Ares, uh the game is a little closer than you think it should be so up front my strategy i went dac i went armored i wanted to use the new 259 uh, half tracks from the onyx shark patch so my thought was to stay uh, really heavily mechanized so i wouldn't bleed and i could get upgrades with the the half tracks then eight rods and then panzer jaegers if required um, needless to say it doesn't go the way i want it to go and i have to start getting creative just to stay in the game uh, there are a couple of our friends in the peanut gallery so you'll hear aries uh, on comms but you'll also hear spades fox and then a few other folks to kind of jump in and out um all in all, this was uh, silly and a lot of fun, but I actually learned some stuff from it. So I hope you enjoy watching. Uh, and after the match, I'll go over a couple of things I learned from the game. All right. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing but Jeeps. It was a non-slot. My you know, question you gotta, is... You got to spell it out like during the, the after action report. You have to say every Jeep. Like, And then next he went with another Jeep and then another one and another one. <laughs> okay, so I just uh, put my scouts in my base, correct? Oh, you can use you can use your scouts. All right, we they get we have you got them. You should be able to use them. Straw that broke the camel's back. No engineers though. That's, that's think, my understanding. So I'm uh, going armor. If they come with the easy eights, you can use them. Yeah. I I think uh, bonus challenges. You get those scouts to that three. <laughs> this is my first game, and I just woke Do up. Scouts so, uh, get uh, shared veterancy. I don't no. know. Yeah. No. Okay, I got 50 jeeps in queue already. <laughs> <laughs> Aries, tell me, like, uh, look at the scout. Does it have the shared veterans C icon? It does not. Oh, okay, then yeah, they're gonna have to put in a lot of work to get the number three. Two five zero, standing by. Moving this haste. Hold tight. Two five zero, vehicle advancing on your coordinates. I have to say that the, the mega jeep spam is like super frustrating early game spam. Like, man, that would just make people quit within sub five minutes. <laughs> at least I know it's coming. Yeah, at least you know it's coming. But like, if you didn't and he was doing that in random ones matches, he might make higher level players just quit because they get so fucking mad. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, he I might would love to see quit. somebody pull this shit off in like tournament play. Just like Jeep <laughs> spam, like just one match, just play non-standard, just to like troll the shit out of the other player and just see him rage. Do it against like Fairy G or OP. Dude, they would never see it coming because higher level players always expect the other higher level players they to play. They expect the same meta. Yeah. yeah. And it, that's like kind of like why you see them respect each other more because it's like they already know what the other one's gonna do. And whenever somebody does something way off, like you know, keel, like they just do something different, it throws them the fuck off. Just full on Queen's Gambit. But Jeep's Gambit. I never watch that. Yeah, Jeep's Gambit. Jeep's Gambit. <laughs> It's a, it's a great show, but I was super disappointed when I found it wasn't based on a true story. I was like, oh, well then, who cares? You just made all this up. I mean, the whole based on a true story mantra, like, it's like, yeah, it's based on it like we, we mentioned a story that happened. Yeah, I mean, fact. <laughs> but you've, you've got to at least give oh me that, god. uh... Oh my god, here they go! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this it's game like bad max up in this bitch. <laughs> this game is over before it started. I just imagine one of the jeeps in the front, like pulling his arm back and like pulling all the jeeps forward, going like, "Do you want to live forever, Ace?" Oh! 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 I'm calling oh, yeah, it right now. Yeah, you're fucked. Acknowledge! <laughs> Victory point under 
Enemy control. We need the Panzer Jaegers. <laughs> Would we grab your gear? We're heading out. We await orders. Make it quick. It'll, it'll just be more fun this way. <laughs> Enemy forces hold all victory points. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> it builds character. I think you missed certain. You mispronounced rage. Eyes open. I'm moving on patrol. You those resources must be under cuff, Fahrzeug. Two hundred and fifty reporting. I committed a fatal error in that I tried to separate my units against the super mobile horde. Yep. Of machine drones. <laughs> he's by the time I get back out, he's gonna have like twelve more, and it's just gonna be over. I mean, they're only two hundred dollars. Like, what a discount. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Get him, boys! <laughs> Some of you may die. <laughs> that is a oh, no. I'm to make. No. <laughs> uh oh. The scouts are getting feisty. They're trying to get that vet. Alright, maybe we get vet later. Bye. <laughs> maybe we get vet later, yep. I hear the chow hall calling me. I mean, that is true. In fact, that would be the only reason people would sprint at the breakneck speeds they do on retreat in the US yep. military, is chow yep. hall. <laughs> Time to go get mid rats. Especially if it's an Air Force chow hall. We've done what we can. Bacon lobster and shit. Make it follow me in. Oh, you can you can keep your lobster in a lane lock country. Enemy forces have claimed our sector. <laughs> well, I guess I spent some time on uh, Fort Dix McGuire Lakehurst, and let me tell you, the Air Force Chow Hall, I never stayed on the Army side. Uh, like, I always went over to the Air Force side. Death is rolling about. And it's not my death. It's his. You do have the advantage of being able to upgrade the 250s, whereas the Jeeps are just Jeeps. We're vibing. Is um, or do, do the armored skirts or the mechanized like upgrade, does that work on Jeeps? Jeeps should get armored skirts. I don't think so. Do they? No. Oh, Jeeps should get... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. There would be a bit of armored skirts in a 30 mil. It'd be like when we up armored the Humvees that weren't designed to be up armored. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so the many Jeep pack. Oh yeah, dude, the Jaegers are going to work there now. Oh no, scout's out. You got the angry blob! What's that for you? <laughs> Panzer infantry have orders to salvage all they can from vehicles. Leave nothing to the enemy. Oh no shit, here come the AT guns. guns. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Oh, this, this is bad. We can do that. You just get captains on everything. Never have so few been led by so many. <laughs> <laughs> Fear me. <laughs> We've done what we can. Ticket stamps. Night vehicle is about to get down. Order. The awake order. Get it done. Five and oh, get the stamp. Two five oh, Ava. On the double. Two five oh, standing by. Point. 
Stupid ping. Oh, these are the lamest Panzer Jaegers. mines here. Prep taking enemy territory. The Kriegsmarine is looking like a sweet deal now, huh? Oh, well that's lame. What's the point of the camouflage if you can just see them? Well, I, I can't see them. But I can see them, if that makes sense. It does. That was close! Too close! That was mean. Sorry. Oh. What's that? I said my effectiveness is slowly whittling away. Yeah, when well, you can only use jeeps. Yeah. The adult eight rad is bringing the baby eight rad cubs out to to hunt. <laughs> Here out on the Serengeti. Captain, strike for supplies. Fall back, punch at the left here. Orders. Securing resources. Panzerjäger anti-vehicle infantry available. Panzerjäger, awake. Panzerjäger advancing. Say the word. It's about to get loud in here. Panzerjäger, awaiting capturing point. Hunter double, eh? Forward elements! We're engaged! Secure that location! Capture and hold! All of the OGs have perished. <laughs> it's fine. Good 
So now the thing that I gotta worry about is how I'm totally unprepared for an easy eight to just show up. That's what I was wondering about. Yeah, I think that the best thing you can do is pretend like they don't exist and don't even think about it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Bro. That's a real thing. You have get moving. Quick march. At the real easy eight. Yep. No, Jeep, what are you doing? Dying. I feel like maybe you should have just been seeding the entire battlefield with mines this whole time. Captain Hindsight reporting in. <laughs> I'll be here to be John Madden all day. <laughs> you know what you, <laughs> what you gotta do is maintain control of the most VPs for the longest time and then you'll win the match. You see, if the if the quarterback goes to the wide receiver and he's in the end zone, that that, that that's a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of touchdown. Or like a safety. Well. Those little Jaegers are pesky though, like death by a thousand cuts. We've done what we can. Nipping at the ankle. Mm -hmm. Like a chihuahua. <laughs> they are little chihuahuas. <laughs> Just gnats flying around that easy eight. Like fuck all. The territory sector has been claimed by the enemy. Better than nothing. Repairs completed. New recruits are here. advancing. Better than nothing, he said. That's the attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Optimism. That's the super. military way. Yeah. But I'm. At least we got food today. I'm in a little bit of a, as the kids would say, a pickle right now. Biggle, biggle. Because somebody came in and destroyed my building. Yeah, that was rude. That was disrespectful. The Wait a minute. I could have sworn we killed these scouts. A scout! Battery crew my AT gun. We should have did the call in, you cheeser. No! Map, map, it match is null and void. <laughs> Cheater. Squad. Cheater. He didn't put him on hold fire either, as in he didn't care. He was just thinking about doing damage to you in a way that you wouldn't expect. Against the rules. Oh, yes. He's like the Russians in the Olympics. Disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Performance enhancing bullshit. Well, everyone's like performance enhancing bullshit. They just. Uh, yeah, but like, here in America, it. like, you know, we make sure that we don't catch anybody and then say it's legit. Like, there's a difference, alright? The American no. no, it's the opposite. They make sure they don't catch anybody in the other countries. America's probably the only country that does adhere to the anti-doping rules. my opinion of it. Like, you know, let them all dope. Like, they all want to destroy their bodies, and it's like, that's what peak performance is, and it's like, right. that's the cost you gotta pay. Let's be honest about it. Yeah. Like, I mean, do that's whatever, whatever you can do to, to the U.S. is doing. Like, why fight it? Like, it's like, oh, well, everyone can be a professional athlete if they're not willing, if they're willing to just keep their body perfect and not destroy it. And it's like, no, if you want to win, you destroy your body. Yep. Well, that's that's the thing. Uh, all those pro athletes, they're still in the less than 1% physically, genetically. So, like, just because Joe Schmo is doping doesn't mean he's going to compete at that level. How did it go from this to this? I don't know. We pivoted. Uh, it's your scout squad. That's why. 
<laughs> ah, don't think that we've forgotten. Okay. Never forget. Always remember. Semper Fi. I think that's what Semper Fi means. Always remember. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it means. Never forget. <laughs> yeah, they adopted that after they adopted that after 9/11. Yeah, that's how the Marine Corps was invented. 9/11. Can I survive the inevitable Easy 8 swarm? Most can't. Now, uh, if Any you take drive. Harry's advice, keep making Panthers and shut the fuck up, then maybe you might survive. No. The answer is no, I can't. Well, you didn't make Panthers. Whose fault is that? Rommels? Yep. Our victory point is being neutralized by the enemy! That Jeep caught you. He saw what you were doing. Did he? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, so many easy eights. Death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts. Nope. Oh, is that the canister round? No, it's high explosive round. Doesn't even make sense. We should put an end to this fight. Tiger heavy tanks will be made available. Someone does need to have a very serious conversation with the good people at Relic about how different types of munitions work. <laughs> nah, it's perfect. Oh, and the Pegram squad died? Okay. Oh shit. Get him, boys. Get him. I love how you can't see the vehicle, but you can see the, like, explosions and the things it's destroying as it's Wait, are the pencils <laughs> moving through the battlefield. The planes? Yes, the pencils are killing the planes. I thought they did zero damage to the aircraft. I guess they fixed it. Get on them. Oh my god! Death by a thousand cuts. Can I make an engineer squad? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you needed to use the call in, you fucking <laughs> cheater. <laughs> that was the rule. I, I, I don't know rules. Yep, you don't. That's why you win all tournaments. Hey! We're losing class for the victory point! Well, I haven't won a single one yet. Uh, yeah, but you probably could. You're losing class for the victory point. Crossing the threshold. On alert. Panzer Pioneer standing by. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. Panzer Pioneers for good the for the enemy forces. Ready, grab your gear. We're heading out. Like Take I'm happy the for him. Like it's amazing how uh, evil <laughs> hatches. That that is this the power of Ares. Oh my God, this is the fastest half track in the history of half tracks. Yeah, three star half track. Got great reviews on Uber. Now, what I want to see for a real match is I want to see U.S. Armored Mir Jeeps only, same thing, but between Orange Pest and Eric. Hurry up! Hurry up! Follow me. What would keep it moving? With haste. Hunter Yeager relocating. Moving. Our territory is in enemy hands. Engage. A challenger appears! Hunter Hunters! Hunter Yiga! Small arms! 
The scouts are gonna beat the <laughs> the scouts are the MVP. Damn non-regulation scouts. Scouts lead the way. <laughs> lead the way back to the chow hall. I mean, that's an important place to lead to. I mean, that's mm -hmm. my favorite place. I know that that's the first place I want to know where it is, so. Yeah. Where's food? Yeah. Real shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure that like some 50 caliber sniper rifles are not really gonna <laughs> back off the frontal armor of a tank. Repairs completed. You just gotta believe. Yep. If you aim true and you believe in your heart of hearts that you will defeat the tank, you can. That's how it works. Is that smokeless powder they have in those cartridges or hopes and dreams? Hopes and dreams. I do love those grenade launchers. That 250 has a thousand lives. We have the point. Yeah. No sweat. Yep. Anything oh, that round. Now. It is the Chad boy. Nine lives are not enough. Oh, oh I thought I blew up that mine. I guess I didn't. You did. With your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. One HP. <laughs> oh my god, the jeep spam! <laughs> it's like a firing range over there. We get the jeeps online. Target 30, hit the berm. Target 30. Cease fire. Getting crowded in here. As it should. For us, enemy territory ahead. Finally, raising the point. We're listening. Better than nothing. Damn, you are here. Tater. I'm moving on Do you not? No. Never have. Never will. Oh my goodness. Yep. You considered an 88? I have, but I'm also trying to have some fun with this. Yeah, don't give them bad ideas. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. The waves. <laughs> the waves of jeeps. We're closing the distance. This is how America won World War II. <laughs> 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 Get <laughs> Not a single infantryman got off the boats in Omaha. It was just jeeps. <laughs> I don't know what they taught you guys in school. But. Oh. Oh, is that thing alive? Oh, come on. Of course, they're not going to shoot. Look at you, found warriors. Let's see what you're made of. Don't keep us waiting, Panzer Jäger. Panzer, move it, Panzer Jäger. Yes. Panzer Jäger, advancing. I mean, you could just go for the tiger. The Jeep's natural counter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I feel like the tiger might run down from me. The victory point is being taken from us! Commandant! Hunt Hunter Jaeger relocating! Victory point lost! Holy shit, you totally drifted! What the fuck? Vet 3, baby. The Cromwell is jealous. Securing resources. Cromwell's got fucking nothing on beat. Oh, he. And they don't. We have 100 points remaining. Take it from them. We have vehicles available in reserve. Wait a minute, when did bunkers get added to the mix? I need help! <laughs> <laughs> the rules evaporate when when things get desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Neither convention be damned. It's not a unit, okay? Someone's in there find that MG. That is technically correct. Tell me about technically correct. What kind of correct is that? that Best kind of correct. Fucking cheater planes. <laughs> I don't disagree. I think that's the number one most tilting leader in the game. The Luftwaffe one's worse somehow. It's anti everything. Right? Yeah. Yeah, true. I actually think the worst one is the US one on the Special Forces Commander. The worst one in terms of the most useless? Yeah, I agree. Damn. Ah. I. Ares made this more of a game than it had any right to be. <laughs> Lost everything now. Oh, you're playing we Ares right now? <laughs> yeah. GG. Good game, man. That yeah. was fucking hilarious. Well done, <laughs> Slytherin. All right. So while that was pretty ridiculous and Ares got me down to less than 100 VPs, uh, was able to pull it out. And so. Um, just a couple of comments here from my lens, like as I went back and looked at some of the gameplay, uh, this game was, was more silly and fun than it was tactical, but there are still a couple of things I could take away from this. So the first thing is that, like, I clearly wasn't using the tack map enough. Um, I still lean on the mini map, which is an old habit that I have. So I have to uh, improve that. I think it would have helped. Um, a friend of mine, Tony told me that when he was trying to force himself to use the tack map, 
he actually took a post-it note, put it on his monitor where the minimap goes in game so that he couldn't see it. And that forced him to pull up the tack map anytime he wanted to use the minimap. So I kind of like that. Uh, I may give that a shot here relatively soon if I don't notice a, an improvement. The second thing is uh, I was definitely on the back foot and not prepared from a tech perspective pretty much constantly throughout the game. Um, and so I knew what Ares was going to do. I knew what units he would use. I should have had a better idea of when those units were going to hit the field. And I had an opportunity to be prepared, but I was almost never ready when I saw the first AT gun, when I saw the first uh, Easy 8, etc. So keep that in mind, especially if you're playing good players and they're following a relatively meta strategy, the more you know the timings of those units uh, and the more you can anticipate when um, stuff like the mechanized 8 rod will hit the field, etc., the more you can be prepared and you can minimize the shock value of some of these high powered units hitting the field. And then finally, I just want to highlight, like it's pretty obvious, but I made some mistakes with overextension uh, kind of throughout the game, especially early on uh, with the first half track, just getting annihilated by a swarm of Jeeps. Um, and this is something that I tend to do fairly regularly and I'm still kind of learning to deal with it in 1v1s. Um, I like to play very aggressively, especially because I play a lot of twos and so you can be aggressive because your teammate is normally if you're you know overextend your teammate is there to kind of protect you um, in a 1v1 that's not the case and so i think i need to do a better job of playing a little bit more deliberately um, building up combat power slowly and only harassing with units that i can afford to lose um, and this becomes even more important when you're up against a good opponent but i learned a long time ago you should never assume that your opponent is going to be bad you should play as if they're good and then if you win you'll just win faster um, so what else, you know, all jokes aside, I know this is a lot of fun. Um, if you saw anything else from my play that you want to highlight, things that I could have done differently, uh, I'm all ears, throw it in the comments, and I hope I hear from you guys. Uh, that's it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, see you all in the next one.